coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Plans to create a trail in Vigo County can move forward after two county council votes last night, but the council has yet to approve funding. The trail would be built on a stretch of abandoned railroad tracks in Riley. Commissioners have asked the council to approve more than a million dollars for the project. That vote was tabled, but the council did approve two other measures that allow the county to express interest in the property and buy it. News 10's Kit Hanley will have more on what's next for the project later on News 10. Police have arrested a man after a hit and run crash that injured a child. The crash happened just after seven Monday night in Terre Haute. Police say a person in a car hit a boy who was riding a bike. It happened near 8th Street and Seabury Avenue. Police expect the boy to be OK. Police say the child did not go to the hospital from the scene. Terre Haute police say Rashad Allen was the driver who was arrested on a preliminary charge of leaving the scene of an accident causing injury. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker is helping police better respond to 911 calls. He signed House Bill 4736 into law and it requires officers in certain areas be accompanied by a co-responder. A co-responder could be a social worker or a mental health professional. They would assist on calls dealing with mental health crisis. Then the police officer and co-responder would determine if a mental health facility would better suit that individual. The Davies County Sheriff's Office has ordered 28 body cams for its 24 deputies. Grants are helping to pay for the upfront costs. Supply chain issues have delayed delivery until later this year. Today, President Joe Biden travels to a farm in Illinois. He's expected to lay out what the White House is doing to support U.S. farmers and lower food costs. Yesterday, Mr. Biden said he is doing all he can for consumers. The latest consumer price index report is due out later this morning. It may indicate that inflation has eased somewhat since March. Very warmer than normal today. We're in the upper 80s, near 90 degrees. 88 degrees would be a tie with our record set in 2005. There's a possibility we could have a new record high today if it just gets a little bit warmer tonight. Mid 60s, clear skies, warm conditions still. Tomorrow, we're still very summer like. We're mostly sunny, almost 90 again, with mostly sunny conditions continuing through the end of the work week. So if you have to do anything outside these next couple of days, Maybe warmer than you're expecting, so just be careful. Very nice and summer like though. We're in the mid 80s on Friday. A chance of rain, maybe thunder showers arrive Saturday. Our temperatures begin to drop a little bit into the end of the weekend.